What's up everyone, quick little video today. On Twitter I was asked about solo farming Rathum for the mods as well as easy judgement points to take on the planet's boss, Kayla the Thame, and the way that I do this as easily as I can. Well my answer to this is Nidus, he is absolutely the perfect way to do this. If you mod for his second ability Lava, that means as much range as possible. Add in the augment for it as well, because often it will link through floors and doors and whatever. So just being able to recast the ability again to break the link is absolutely fantastic. Then go with a tanky build. We've got triple umbral. Uh, add rage in there so you can take a hit and regen pretty much your entire energy pool at once. Arcane wise, personally I'm running energizing grace so I've got the chance for the extra health regen. Plus if I need extra energy, the position I normally take up is right near an energy orb. So I also have the chance to max out my energy in one go. This strat can be very, very energy hungry, and it's actually very easy to not take a hit at all doing this strat. But if you want to, you could go with a double Grace for Arcanes, or Grace Guardian. Personally, I also tend to combine this with Magus Repair on my Operator as well, in case my Grace doesn't trigger and I need a heal. Then it's a case of there being two scenarios. If you get any of the modifiers other than Reinforcements, Use the enemy radar to hunt enemies down and just shoot them in the face with a decent weapon. They're not too hard to kill. Catch Moon's going to do the job just nicely. Snipers, shotguns, Redeemer Prime, anything with really good damage is going to deal with the enemies easily enough. If you're solo, you'll only get two enemies to deal with, so there's almost no risk of death with this build whatsoever. However, the beauty of this build comes into effect if you go into a public match where you get more enemies, or if you get the Reinforcements modifier. Head to the centre of the map just in front of the door and cast your two. Watch as you drag everything in range into your lava and then just fire into it. You kill everything inside super quickly and then just do it again. Keep it going and then this is by far the quickest way of getting the 25 kills that you need. It's one of those strats that actually gets better with the more enemies that you have. If you're looking for just speed and doing this as quickly as possible, it's worth going into a squad just for extra numbers to speed things up. But this does work amazingly for solo, provided you get that reinforcements modifier. It's about 2 minutes per round solo with reinforcements, and 4 minutes with any other modifier, so it is actually a pretty big difference. So that's basically how I go about solo farming judgement points and just about everything that's inside the uh, Rathum game mode. Nidus makes it super simple and basically risk free, and if you can get either the right modifier or if you're in, you know, in a squad, it can be super quick with his two. Rathum isn't something that's aged well at all. It used to have a purpose as the top endo farm in the game. However, with the recent loot changes, it basically killed off the entire mode completely. Outside of getting the mods and needing those judgment points, there is literally no point to this game mode anymore. It's sad that knock-on effects from decisions like nuking the loot generation methods have further destroyed already underplayed game modes. In fact, actually, this is actually my old endo farming build uh, on my Nidus. But, you know, hey, that's that's a discussion for another day. I hope, though, that this has helped you get the most out of your Rathum farming. This is how I did it fairly mindlessly whenever I needed to. For the most part, you can do it on just about any tanky frame with enemy radar. But I find Nidus to be the king of Rathum. If you've got any frames or weapons you'd love to see builds for, hit me up in the comments and I will take a look into it. I hope you all enjoyed this video, really, really short one today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I shall catch you in the next one.